Jesse. How you doing? It's like Christmas <laughs> morning. <laughs> so good to see you. You look gorgeous as you ever, look darling. You great. Look at you. Uh, honestly, it's like crazy to be here. I don't even know that you know this, <laughs> but this is six years to the day that no, we met. No kidding. Yeah. No kidding. I remember the first meeting in terms of like first time meeting you and just sort of that calmness. So like being <laughs> very anxious, but sort of like sort of being calm. And one thing I've always been dying to ask you was, yeah. you got all of my blood work, my lab results, and here it is. You see 30 year old Chelsea Wright, mm -hmm. and you see all the numbers. Yeah, that and I saw the blood work that looked like looked like a 45 year old <laughs> Chelsea Wright. But, exactly. But you were not just defined by your blood tests, and that's such an important thing for you, Chelsea. I walked out a little overwhelmed the first meeting, but overall, I was like, we're going to do this. Th you know, this is the spot. Because if I'm getting one embryo ever, I want the best place <laughs> in the world to take care of that. And I think a lot of people too asked me sort of. Yeah how I kept so upbeat. I mean, part of it is, it's just kind of, I think- It's your nature, for who sure. Who I am, <laughs> yeah. <for> sure. <laughs> I, th I think if I have my mindset on anything, it, I do my best to do what I can do to control. Mm -hmm. So it's sort of my advice for people is, anything you can control, if you could be at, at these appointments on time mm -hmm. and um, taking your notes mm -hmm. and being healthy and taking care of yourself, if you can control that, mm -hmm. at least you feel like you're controlling some part of this journey because a lot of it you can't. Oh, and that's so frustrating for everybody, right? right? Because everyone, you know, any any um, sort of high-performing young woman who has accomplished all the things that she wanted to accomplish in her life and all of a sudden comes to sort of the one thing that should be your birthright, your ability to have a baby when you want to have a baby, all of a sudden is taken away from you. It, it's incredibly frustrating and it makes you feel completely powerless because right. now there are forces outside your control that are dictating your life. and that. You know, for you, I'm sure that was the first time that ever happened. That's where IVF sort of helps mm -hmm. for for this condition, mm -hmm. I would think, because you can read numbers and, mm -hmm. and know a patient's age and a little bit about that. But until right. you actually go in there and possibly do a retrieval, mm -hmm. that first round of IVF is sort it means of... so much. It the, really the does. Ball. And it was it was pretty much where... where you know, we had everything riding on that for your first try because that could have taken us a variety of different di directions. It took us to a good place and that sort of gave us the impetus and the hope to move forward. But um, truly, you know, uh, we always hope that uh, IVF is going to be therapeutic, but um, IVF is always diagnostic. It's really something that, um, again, beyond any of the testing we can do, really gives us insights to the inner workings of the reproductive process. Nature is never going to show us everything. And maybe she shouldn't. Maybe there's yeah. maybe there's got to be a little, a little bit of mystery and magic bit of to surprise. it. Yeah, exactly. And thank God, you know, for a wonderful supportive husband, which is, you know, was critical to this process. Thank um, God. Uh, you know, to, to help to see you through all this. So it's... You know, oh, no, nothing scares me now. This experience sort of got me to be that fearless mom. Well, you, you, fearless. You, you are, but you were fearless the day you came through the door six years ago. So, so that you've always had in you. It's just who you are, and that's a wonderful thing. And the fact that you, you, you talk about your stories to sort of pay it forward to other women, that's, that's huge. If I could give anybody that from this, that, that's really all I want, is that, you know, I don't want anyone to get a diagnosis and just quit. And give, give up, exactly. Yeah. No, th there's, there's, as I said, that, that's where... You know, get in to talk to somebody, figure out what kind of shape your hope will take. And it may not be the same as the hope that we had, but it can be hope. You know, there's always some hope. I mean, we we know that, that you know, in this day and age, as long as we're, we're willing to, to figure out the detours, we can make a baby for almost anybody, right? So the, the, the fact that um, you had that indomitable hope that that was there no matter what, and, and you never gave up, and that's where we And you were. didn't either. Well, because we were getting there. Like we said, that first meeting, we were going to take this ride together. And that was so important to me that you, you understood that, that the ride could take us a variety of different ways, but we were going to see where it was going to go. Do you remember making me do one last cycle in May? I do remember, yes. You said, if you can, <laughs> yes. can you do just one more? And I really actually at that time thought, no, mm -hmm. I can't. And I hung up the phone and I thought, oh, he thinks I could do one more. And you knew I wanted three children yes, at that indeed. time. Oh, thank God I did. I don't know. I pushed through one last one and... It made the difference, Chelsea. But it yeah, did. with that goal, and again, you had come so far, and, and again, to really help you realize that idealized family that you had always envisioned. Again, and, I, and, and I, I really thank you for trusting me. After all that we'd been through, I didn't want to see you really be, be absolutely deprived of the opportunity for that.
that, that dream to really come true. Come Thank here, love. Oh, you are you're an amazing person, and I'm just so glad I got a chance to know you and and to take care of you. Chelsea, you're you're never in you know my most senile days ever going to be forgotten. Really. <laughs>